going to start. So she has pain on the um, this area when when she was running. She said she rolled rolled her ankle about uh, uh, a week ago, right? And the uh, um, the foot was going like this way, kind of roll out this way, like this way, okay? But if that's the case, the pain will be like right here on the outside of the ankle, either the uh, calcaneal fibular ligament or calcaneal uh, or the telofibular ligament, but it's not any of those three ligaments that she's hurting. Instead, she's hurting more here on the inside of the ankle. But the pain is not on the deltoid ligament either. It's instead like right on the arch. So that makes me think it's the other possibility, which is the tibialis posterior. Tibialis posterior goes from uh, here behind the tibia and then goes make a curve right here on the tarsal tunnel attached to navicular so the stretch will be more like this way and usually when we stretch that tendon we want to use the um, the knuckle i put on the ball of the foot right here and use the thumb on the attachment or the insertion of the tibialis posterior and that's going to be on the navicular right here so when we do this that would be a good stretch feel it mm -hmm. yeah so this is the stretch for the tibialis posterior and also we can go a little bit cross friction massage right here and kind of go cross friction massage and right here on the uh, uh, connection where the muscle becomes the tendon right here that's tender right here yeah yeah okay all right and i don't have to use a lot of my finger strength i can just like lean towards it just use my body weight to stretch okay gentle steady stretch okay good so that's the manual stretching and now we're gonna take this tendon and the muscle okay facilitate what I want to do is to kind of like take the load or the um, strain ease the strain of this muscle and the muscle goes from again the posterior aspect of the tibia and goes around this tarsal tunnel and attach right here okay but if I anchor right here that would be a little bit like easy to fall off so I'm gonna choose this way anchor on this pinky side okay and then since I'm stretching it I'm gonna bring the foot into a little bit pronation this way and then use about 50% of the strength or the tension right here and then goes right here okay so that's a long anatomical position of the tibialis posterior okay and so I want to support the arch so another one I would do is to go like this okay? kind of like secure the arch here okay tension in the middle 